if you if you're listening to this and you don't agree with this, the number one we're gonna just jump into it because it, it's on the list. The number one Houston hip hop song of all time. Zero, Mo City Dawn. Top three, no debate. Yeah, that, that has to but be. But it's on there for sure. That has to be on there. Little flip. I know y'all been waiting on this here. We have like I can do that. This is the way we ball. Game over. Any of those stick out to make a top ten worthy? Uh, uh. <laughs> you know which one I added though? Because a slept on song is the we blow endo freestyle. If I'm gonna take I'm gonna if I'm gonna leave, if I'm gonna put one on as hard, it's gonna I can be do a that. top. You, it's either I can do that or game over. But I mean, and, I, and the way we ball was legendary too. Oh, that's so, my personal, my favorite. Of the, I, of the I'm gonna have to go with. Oh, man, I hate this. Why you do this? Uh, I'm gonna go with. I'm high. I gotta go with that game over. Game over. Okay, yeah, that I'm was his game. biggest song. Yeah, so we'll I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go game over. Pimp C, Bumby, knocking doors down, get thrown and draped up. Any of those stick out? <sighs> God damn, man. Knocking Doors Down did a lot for Texas hip hop, man. Um, shoot, why you damn? Why you do this? I I'm telling you, it's too it's too tough. You can't it's make me tough. choose between the pimp. <laughs> now this is crazy. Uh, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go Knocking Doors Down because that that song was important and it was a very Love crucial it. to the Love it. question. Yeah. Another another slept on song I feel is that Drink in My Cup, not from Kirk Bangs, from Big Tiger. Drink up in my cup, man. Eh. Hold up. Eh. It's the big tyke. I got swangers on my truck. I, I, I would. Me you be pro- scratching that one? I'm scratching that, and I'm gonna get flagged for this. And I know I criticize this man on my podcast, but I, I have to do it because you can't erase history. Um, I, I have. To, I would replace with uh, South Park Mexican. Must be high. I didn't say it. <laughs> I didn't say it. All right. So we have Paul Wall. Shout out to my boy Flaws, man. I came here with motherfucking intentions. Intentions to put flaws on wax, man. The Paul Wall disrespect is fuck blatant, blatantly <laughs> disrespectful. Right? I, I mean, he is. I know you had mentioned it. He is legendary. I mean, he is legendary with songs like "Sitting Sideways," "Break 'Em Off." You gotta put one of those on top ten. I would replace that with me personally. So if we would, you got "Sitting Sideways" there. I would switch it out. And I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put um, in love with my money with color changing clips. I'm gonna replace that with that. So, even though since I was a big song, but I'm gonna replace it with. All right, so I agree with you. I don't know if I agree with that. I take that back. Since I was nasty, in love with, in love with my money's that. If we're talking albums, because we're going to talk albums, no debate. Get your mind correct. Number one album of all time. But I, that's me personally. Like I said, I, you too. I, I, that's yeah, one of my favorite, my oh. favorite Texas albums. But yeah, if, if I were to replace it, I would take take those songs to put in love with my money on there. How do you feel about a song that's kind of commercial now? So we have Charlie Boy, I Look Good on there, but it's everywhere. It's everywhere. You can't, it's, it's, it's like one of these songs like where you can't really ignore it because it's everywhere. I, what he just recently redid it with somebody else. I would, I would definitely. I mean, it's up there with me personally. It wouldn't be in my top fifteen. And I do not like the fact, and this, you disrespectful right now, because I don't see how you didn't put right and dirty in here at all. No, but listen. <laughs> first things first. Okay, hey, right and dirty's trash. It was. Hold on, I think I think what you're doing is you're going based off the most successful. Okay. So yes, Ride and Dirty is up there. If we went, if we went top ten most successful, you are you like bang it? You jam it in the trunk right now? What? Ride and Dirty? Not my favorite comedian or song. But is it even close? I mean, it's you. You you have to put that. It's <sighs> the man made a lot of money off of. Yeah. You got you got to think about MySpace the era two thousand and six. How big that record was. That's a, definitely a top fifteen Texas record and his biggest. So that that makes sense why you put game over for Lil Flip. Yeah. Cause that record was it's, smashing. It's 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 definitely top fifteen notable. Okay, it's, so so shout out to my boy. And this is interesting that you that you got this here. And uh still still banging screw? Still banging screw. Top Kylie. fifteen? Um top fifteen Texas song? It's Floating in the top fifteen, I, I would say anywhere between like thirteen to sixteen. Really? Yeah. So you would you would 
Because there's so many va variations of it. There's the I, I like the remix with the uh, Paul Wall on there. That's He's, the. Well, so are you you talking about the original? I rather bang screw. Yeah, I mean, okay. yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's, there's I'd rather bang screw. There's still banging screw. I like still banging screw because that's what everybody on there with Paul Wall repping Smithville, Texas, baby. Um, but yeah, that's why it's just, it's pretty much the same hook, same song, well, diff different variations. Shout out, of shout, it. shout out to Kali. That was definitely a legendary track. What? So you don't think? Um, Kirk Bang drinking my cup isn't, isn't a legendary. That that's right up there with it. Yeah. So, that, but that's what makes this list so hard. Honorable mentions. Honorable mentions for the list. Drinking my cup. Um, that's on my playlist. DJ DMD so real. Okay. Those are some honorable. Little Southside old, the realist. Lil O back back. Bro, I was this. I, I didn't even think you knew that song. Oh wait. No, because I would have put it on the list. There's no Slim Thug on here. Why? Because I love Slim Thug. Good point. Because I think what we're doing is when if it was commercial success like a boss, you know, I ain't heard of that. There's several the three kings. There's several routes you could have went for a commercial success. But top ten like Texas make you go. Ugh. I don't know if do you think Thug is another one. Now you got me thinking about Slim Thug's catalog. Yeah, I love Slim Thug, but top ten. I don't know if this. Which song would you worthy of a top ten? Thug. Like a boss? Like a boss. Like Definitely. a boss. So, yeah. So, stuck, Slim Thug, if you see, I ain't make this, man. Be mad at you. <laughs> Look, no, I kidding. love you, boss. I threw you under the bus. Now, hey, no, now. Quick, quick story. Um, me and LJ, we were at the Texas Relays, and we were like 13 years old. Literally, kids. And we were walking tons of people everywhere. We see this candy blue, huge, jacked up candy blue excursion pop up. They pop the trunk. Slim Thug pops out, starts slinging T-shirts, slinging CDs. Ever since then, I love Slim Thug, Boss Hog, all them people. But... When we're talking top ten. It's it's tough to put them on there. I disagree. Uh, yeah, no them, no slim thug disrespect. We'll be talking. No, okay, all right, man. So we moving to something else now. Well, real quick though, time out. Last thing when we talk about these songs. So we talk about these songs. It's important, but 